Hi there, this is Dennis, and guys, you can see this kind of weird, strange uh, yellow light around me. Uh, it's because I put up uh, curtains. I put up curtains on my window, so uh, even though the sun, the sun uh, uh, lights right. Uh, in front of my face run on me through my window but the new curtains uh, block block the sun but uh, you see you can see that's uh, kind of weird uh, yellow uh, yellow light around uh, something like that but I hope um, I hope that's no problem and today uh, today my another cooking block and we are gonna make something special as usual guys today we are gonna make uh, Russian porridge buckwheat today we are gonna make buckwheat with chicken right in the my oven So guys, don't worry about that, uh, this is just my bed sheets, I did some laundry this morning, so uh, I had to hang it up right here, because uh, my rented apartment is pretty small, so uh, my landlady, my hostess uh, uh, got uh, the uh, <clears throat> sheet ropes uh, no, no, no sheet ropes, sheet ropes, and uh, right in, right here, right over here, right in her kitchen. So, uh, buckwheat with chicken and vegetables in the oven. Uh, we are gonna need, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you what we'll need today. Of course, we need buckwheat. Buckwheat. Around uh, two pounds, I think. So we need buckwheat. We need, of course, uh, some chicken. It's some freezing now. Some chicken, about one or one uh, and a half uh, of pounds uh, chicken breast filet. Uh, we have leftovers of the mushrooms. This is fro frozen uh, frozen champignons, slices of uh, frozen champignons. Uh, maybe you can remember I used these champignons when uh, I cook my uh, my 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 my. Uh, brown rice with chicken and uh, vegetables. Okay, mushrooms. And uh, we'll need one big uh, bulb of white onion, one big carrot, carrot. So, uh, a couple of uh, garlic cloves couple of garlic cloves, cloves. Uh, some mayo, mayonnaise, some mayonnaise for marinade, and some seasonings to taste, just in case, maybe salt, pepper, dried herbs, and so on. So guys, we are good to go. So guys, the very first step uh, is to wash our hands, I've done this already wash our chicken breasts i've done this already and i'm gonna slice this chicken with my big knife uh, to many small pieces i'm trying to make some medium size cubes or something like that and guys the next step that we should do uh, we are gonna marinate marinate our 
chicken breast pieces with some mayo, garlic and spices, I think, and some seasonings. So let's do it. I used for marinating some uh, Soviet style, style aluminum bowl. Aluminum, it's more like American accent and with the British accent, it's more like aluminum, aluminum bowl. So I, I've got my aluminum or aluminum bowl and I'm gonna marinate this chicken breast. For my marinade, guys, I have uh, a couple of uh, garlic cloves, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna crush uh, them with this small knife, small knife, and just like so, just like so, I'm chopping, I'm chopping my garlic for the marinade for the upcoming marinade for my chicken well now we have some amount of uh, chopped garlic chopped garlic we have our chicken in in, in the bowl and uh, now we are gonna uh, marinate it for a bit uh, this is really a super simple and super easy and super fast marinade. You know, I'm pretty lazy guy, I'm pretty lazy cook and I don't like use some fancy or some time consuming uh, cooking processes, uh, cooking uh, uh, devices and some uh, uh, complicated uh, or difficult ingredients and difficult uh, styles for cooking. So guys, uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, add the garlic. to the chicken. Then I'm gonna take my mayo. This is onion and this is we uh, uh, we don't need onion yet but we need mayo and I think I'm gonna add a big spoon a big spoon of mayo to my chicken something like that so garlic mayo and some seasonings guys uh, some seasonings this is a universal uh, seasoning for chicken this is a mix of uh, different uh, spices and uh, this is uh, uh, garlic powder dried garlic powder this is a good idea to add some dried garlic beside of uh, raw garlic fresh garlic and maybe 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 um, something like that maybe okay uh, you can add any seasoning you want maybe uh, uh, maybe even soy sauce uh, and uh, plain salt, uh, uh, sea salt, yeah, uh, maybe uh, to taste, guys, to taste. Every seasoning you want, you'd like to, you can add into this marinade. So, uh, for this time, I prefer mayo, garlic and uh, uh, pepper mix, uh, something like that. Okay, and after that we just we just uh, uh, stirring stirring our chicken with uh, marinade a little bit to let it uh, to let it uh, stay just like so maybe for 15 or 20 minutes. So guys, why while while our chicken is marinating over there uh, we are gonna we are gonna chop our bull onion with the knife and we are gonna 
upgrade our carrot with uh, this great and you know guys i would like to use uh, more than one one bulb of onion because i do like i do like onion in my dishes but but unfortunately i run out of onions this is uh, this is the last bulb of white onion in my kitchen so i completely forgot to buy to buy onions and now i have to use only th only this only last medium size onion bulb actually guys to be honest this is the very first time when i when i'm cooking uh, this dish with this recipe really uh, no joking and uh, hopefully hopefully it will be okay and uh, my bath with the chicken in oven uh, will be delicious and i'll enjoy it because uh, usually i do like buckwheat i do like buckwheat at all and uh, i know that uh, that uh, uh, in other countries uh, besides uh, uh, besides countries uh, that uh, were in soviet union uh, in the past uh, besides these countries uh, uh, the rest of the world uh, um, <laughs> actually uh, don't uh, understand how we how we Russians uh, can eat uh, buckwheat a lot. And but you know, guys, if you uh, if you cook buckwheat properly, if you cook buckwheat uh, the way uh, the way uh, our grandmothers uh, did. It's pretty, pretty, pretty tasty, uh, pretty tasty grain, pretty tasty cereal, pretty tasty porridge. And one more, once, one more time, I do like buckwheat. So now we have chopped the uh, onion, we have grated, grated carrot. It's, it was big carrot, so it's enough. But uh, one more time. I would like I would like more onion, but okay I don't have uh, another one. So guys, we have uh, onion, carrot, and we have uh, just unfrozen mushrooms over there. And I'm gonna to saute uh, this mixture, uh, onion, carrot, and mushrooms with my favorite frying pan. See you later. So this is our. Uh, our mixture and it's almost done it's almost done guys it smells good as usually so I think maybe one or two minutes more and and we can uh, put uh, buckwheat in our in our boil and add this very delicious and ah, good smelling mix so guys my soviet style tea kettle is whistling whistling and uh, we are ready to uh, to move on to our finish finish stage and finished step of our today's cooking that is that is guys uh, put all our ingredients in uh, one bowl I have look at this guys look at this check it out this is the most uh, the biggest the biggest bowl uh, in this apartment ever yeah really it's almost basin it's really big bowl. I uh, I think that's around maybe maybe seven liters, uh, no, maybe five, maybe five liters uh, volume of uh, of this big big bowl, really big. And now I'm gonna 
I'm gonna put uh, my back of it and uh, our other ingredients right into it. Something like that. I think that uh, that I'm not going to uh, pour the whole pack of buckwheat uh, uh, today. Uh, maybe, maybe I left uh, maybe I left uh, 200 grams uh, in the pack, and uh, I'll use it the next time. So it's around it's around uh, seven hundred grams or one and uh, one half of pounds uh, right now in this bowl. So guys, the next step we are gonna add our uh, our vegetable and mushrooms mix right into it. Well, our delicious mushroom vegetables mix and we put we put it right into our black wheat and I'm trying to wipe out wipe out all the leftovers of mixture from my frying pan so I'm not gonna lose any vegetable pieces okay that's great guys that's great so my next step I'm gonna add some uh, some boiled water some uh, some very hot water in our pan, in our bowl, it's about it's about one liter of water for this amount of buckwheat, and uh, just like so. Uh, and I I am trying to uh, to do uh, uh, I'm trying to. Uh, to make the water uh, cover all the buckwheat in the bowl, all the buckwheat, just like so, guys. Just like so, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's enough. And 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 and, uh, I've got some seasoning. I I had uh, hidden. I had hidden it <laughs> right there, right behind my bowl. And one more time, I'm seasoning my buckwheat vegetable mushroom uh, mixture. A little bit extra. This is Italian dry herbs, Italian dried herbs. And, 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 and. Something like that. I think it's enough. Mmm, it smells good right now, guys. And the final, the final step. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, stir, stir this mix a little bit, and then, and then. I'm gonna add our our marinated chicken. Ah, it's a good smell. Our marinated chicken uh, on the top of this mixture. Garlic, 
some chopping garlic left on the bottom of the bowl and okay so guys I'm spreading out I'm spreading out the chicken uh, on the top of the dish and now we have now we have it's almost done i know it's uh, i know it looks like mm, a co-feed co-food or goat food something like that but uh, it's because it's ugly ugly soviet style bowl guys i think uh, i think if i had uh, if i had uh, some kind of uh, glass fancy bowl you know uh, that kind of uh, expensive uh, you know, special glass transparent bowl that uh, my my buckwheat and chicken uh, would uh, would uh, looked more fancy and delicious but it's delicious anyway believe me guys at least i hope so okay and the final step i'm gonna put my bowl right into the oven and i already i already uh <clears throat> lighted lighted my oven and uh inside it it's pretty pretty high temperature i think it's it's around uh, 200 degrees celsius right now so guys it's been maybe around 20 minutes from uh, starting starting our chicken uh, stewing in the oven and i'm gonna add uh, some extra extra garlic in it so i like garlic i like onion and uh, uh, and i'm gonna do it right now guys i just chopped the garlic with uh, this size pieces and now I'm gonna check our chicken out. I'm gonna check out what we have. This is my oven meat, oven meat, and oh yeah, guys, oh yeah. I even decided to add uh, one more spoon of uh, vegetable oil in it, just in case, just in case. And now I just, I just stir in it one more time. And I'm gonna let my chicken and and buckwheat stay in the oven more, maybe for five or ten minutes more. And this is it, guys. So guys, the sun went out. It's almost 9 p.m. over here in northwest Russia. And now I'm gonna show you what we have by this moment. Our chicken. I hope you can I hope you can see me and I hope you will be able to see uh, what I am going to take out from my oven right now. Wow. 
Wow, nice. We have the whole ball. We have the whole ball. I believe this uh, round, round, uh, maybe, maybe uh, six or seven portions uh, of. Uh, I hope very delicious buckwheat with chicken and vegetables and mushrooms and so on. Well, guys, uh, excuse me for uh, this. Uh, permanent problems with uh, light uh, <laughs> one day it's too more light uh, because of because of the sun one day it's too too, uh, <clears throat> too small light too, too few light so guys this is the chicken with buckwheat Russian porridge you know so guys, please leave your inspiring comment right below this video because uh, uh, your feedback uh, is very important to me and I'm gonna taste this, this dish, this pretty Russian style dish, you know, buckwheat and I wish you as usual, stay safe, stay healthy and Subscribe to my channel. The button is right here. Thank you for watching and bye bye for now.